In this video, we will talk about Ghidra decompiler tool. Specifically, we will talk about its script, scripting features and how to extend Ghidra capabilities. Ghidra is a decompiler tool that has been released to the open source recently by the NSA. It is a very powerful tool, but it lacks some useful capabilities depending on the applications. So to extending its capabilities is a very useful thing. So today we will talk about two areas. One is how to generate internal information from Ghidra and output it and reformat it for it to be useful to you. Second is how to use external tools to make it work with Ghidra so that the combination will be a lot more powerful. Ghidra use something called P-code. P-code is an intermediate representation of the binary code, and that is available well before LLVMII exists. However, Ghidra does not output P-code, so we need some automation to do that. There are scripts out there that do output some form of P-code, but for P-code to be very useful, the output needs to be coherent. It needs to contain symbolic information and it needs to be able to reference to the binary and assembly code to make it more useful in code repair and analysis at the low level. The second thing we will talk about is to extend Ghidra capabilities using external tool. External tool is useful for ex extending Ghidra capability but you don't have to modify Ghidra to do that. So it, to perform complex functions that are not available in Ghidra, for example, if you have an AI analyzer externally, somehow you want to hook that up to Ghidra, the combination of the two would be very powerful. Fortunately, Ghidra has powerful features that are capable of hooking up to external tool and even support graphical user interface. So you can link external tool to Ghidra and invoke external tools and utilize results that are generated by external tool to complement Ghidra. So the demo and the discussion will center around those two points. The first tool I'm going to demonstrate is called the P-Code Grabber. And it's going to output the P code of the assembly generated by Ghidra. And it's going to format the P codes coherent to the address and the assembly. And it's going to keep the comments generated by Ghidra in order to potentially be useful to developers, such as the function plate comments and any other comments that the user may have added into the listing window. Can you explain a little about, about these windows? Uh, yes. This is the main Ghidra window. Here, the decompile window is where Ghidra generates um, the decompiled C code. And that is taken from the listing window, the most relevant window to this tool, which displays the assembly, the address, the instructions, and the p-code down here, which we're going to extract. These two are the data type manager windows and the symbol trees, which will be relevant later. And to run the tool, I'm going to go to script manager and under p-code, the p-code grabber tool is here. First, the tool will, will prompt for an output folder. For that, I'll be using the Pico Grabber output. It will create two files, listing and stats, which I'll go over shortly. First is the listing window. As you can see, it's similar to what was in the original listing window in Ghidra. This is the address. 
these are the instructions and down here is the P code. It also keeps the comments, so it separates the functions with these plate comments, as well as includes the symbols, which denotes the function names, whether they're generated by Gija or taken from the original program. So from some functions seem to have names and some don't, and it just make up the name when it doesn't have the information. Yes. open up stats it shows the uh, statistics of the decompiled quicksort program here is a count of pico mnemonics for example it used the this mnemonic 50 times copy 179 times and so on locations of the symbols show the address that a symbol was found the type of the symbol and the symbol name. So in this address is the function put character. And at this address is this generated label. So the main function, for example, is at address 8BF above. Yes, it's here. The next tool I'm going to demonstrate will invoke an external application which generates C code and then the tool will apply the generated C code into Ghidra to make Ghidra's decompiled code more readable. As you can see, looking through the symbol tree and looking through the functions of the program, the main function has an undefined return type. Going through more functions, the incorrect return types here and incorrect parameter types or unknown parameter names in the declaration of the functions. To access the automated tool, I go to Script Manager and under Cleaning, I will find the improved code script. Now this is a tool that you developed. Yes. And it's a little more complex than the last one because it uses um, a user interface to guide the user through the process. And here in this window, I will be choosing the um, source file to generate the header files from. And here I choose the output folder. And it will create two files, quicksort.h, which generates the function prototypes, and quicksort.main.h, which generates a sample of the source code. So your external tool, which is very simple, we just take a version of the C code and it extract some samples of C code and prototype information out of it that you can apply to Ghidra. Yes, both of these files were generated by, generated by the external tool. And is this your GUI or is this Ghidra GUI? Um, this is GUI from our tool. Okay. So after generating the files, this tool allows you to parse each file to the program. And then you can see that both header files have been added to the data type manager. And if we look at the output folder, you will find the function prototypes and a sample of the source code. Now, after applying the function data types, you can see that the function declarations have been fixed. Main now has the return type. The partition has the correct return type and the correct parameter types and names. 
and so on for the rest of the functions of this program. Now in summary, I've demonstrated two different automated tools. One was the P-code grabber, which generates P-code using an automatic method and outputs in a coherent manner and can be used for purposes such as patching. The second tool was a complex Ghidra automation tool, which invokes another external tool and makes use of those results from the external tool to clean up code and to extend Ghidra capabilities.